Okay, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna try and do it whether it's gonna be good or not Monday Wednesday Friday those are the days videos are gonna come out it's that thing where just put it out. You just put it out. Just put it out. Just put it out. Just put it out. So I'm going to tell you a story about how I almost killed Sarah and my best friend Sam um, at the same time because I'm stupid. But while I tell you that, blah, 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 while I tell you that story, try and say that um, one time fast. But while I tell you, I just did it. I'm going to be making a beef stew. I think. Um, I've never made a beef stew, but Sarah's parents got me a gr crock pot, so I figured I'll make a beef stew tomorrow, so I'm just gonna prepare for it, and that'll make it. But I've got an issue with King Supers right now. Like, what's the deal with this King Supers? Look at all these bags here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags. And look what's inside these bags, all right? This one, just some potatoes that are already in a bag. This one has, like, some meat. This one, just another bag. This one, like, come on guys, like put that in the same. I know Boulder made the, uh, it's 10 cents a bag to to use bags. And you know, I'm like, I'm kind of for that because first of all, you reuse bags and I should, and we have bags, but throw up here, I never use them, I never bring them with me. And second, of all so this is where our bag storage is and we never had this until boulder they like shove as much stuff in a bag as possible um longmont obviously you know they don't they don't do that who needs this many bags? what am i gonna do with we're gonna have uh like grease fire or something one day and it's just gonna smell bad because all these bags are gonna sell on fire come on Apparently you can recycle them like bring them back to King Supers and throw them in a thing So we're gonna try and do that anyway That's not what my vlog is about even though I'm a little bit upset about that because I like the earth um, And I like you know not having a million bags, but I have a million bags anyway because you give them to me So stop doing that anyway I'm gonna do some cooking and I'll cut to that real quick. So here is Mike uh, 17 hours in the future So this story goes back to when I was like 16 years old and I just got my license. It's not when I like almost killed Sam and Sarah. That happened, that happened like seven years later. But it all started because of when I was 16 years old. You know, you just get your license, you're kind of messing around with your buddies. So I had this, uh, this buddy and we would always go like front to back to each other at a light. I had this old Jeep, it was 1987 I think, Jeep CJ7. So I had this big, this big tire on the back. Here's the car, here's the tire on the back. So I'd always take the tire and I'd bump into his car. If we're up on a hill, I would like slowly let the, let the brake off. I'd go backwards and I'd just like rest my car onto his car and then he'd try and like push me forward, you know? So basically we'd just mess around with each other. And I'm gonna change the battery real quick because it's gonna run out. So basically, that's how everything started with me messing around with friends in cars. It must just be a guy thing, teenager thing, whatever. We never got in any accidents, we never really got in any trouble. Um, I never sped because my car couldn't even go like 40 miles an hour. Um, but you know what, lights and when we're parking and stuff like that, we would just, we'd mess with each other. That being said, this is seven years later. Sarah and I are in my car, my new 2017 Crosstrek. Sam is in his car, I don't know what it was, some Honda Civic. So we're coming up the road like this, right next to each other. We're kind of just messing with each other, you know when you pull up next to a friend and you just like do this thing where you're like... And then your friend is all like... And then you like start racing a little bit. So I was like staring at Sam, and while I was looking at him, I took the wheel, and I was just gonna go like, bloop, to pretend to go like, we're going 40 miles an hour though, and I'm gonna go Phew. Instead of that happening, and the car just going Phew. this happened, I'm like looking to the side, and I just go like, here, and I just go like this. And that's not this, that's And the car goes Phew. And I'm looking at Sam, and I realize the car's like flying toward him, and I'm like Phew. Phew. Overcorrect, and I'm doing this sort of thing. Sam's in the car over here, just like, what the hell? Sarah's next to me and just like screaming at me because she's pretty sure I'm gonna kill everybody. But you know, no, I, I held it out, you know? I did good because I'm a good, <laughs> good driver. 
and uh, I just slowed down and you know we, we went on our way so we come up to the stop sign I rolled down my window Sam rolls down his window and we just start cracking up because I don't know we're guys and we're like that was so stupid it was funny so we just start laughing our asses off and Sarah's over here you're like super pissed because she almost died um, which is completely understandable. So she wants to get out of the car. Sam and I are laughing, and then we just have to take off, you know, and 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 it's all it's all smooth sailing from there. And I've never got, had anything wrong from there. A, a perfect driving record. I've never sped since then. I've never r ran a little, little red light or, or I've stopped at every single stop sign, you know, because I'm a perfect driver. Um, <laughs> no, that's not true at all. Basically, I almost killed everybody. And yeah, that's it. That's my story. And uh, I just thought I would share that because I have got to do my put, put stuff out, put stuff out. Here's a, here's a little uh, reenactment. Ha 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 ha. I mean, that's not exactly what happened, but you know, good enough, good enough. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna get back to cutting these potatoes. You know, I'm gonna cry a little bit because I gotta cut these onions and I'm like killing their family or whatever and it's really sad. So you just have to cry it out, you know. Hey, you know what? And the next one is when I'll see you. So, uh, laters.